In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an email address using Webmin Virtual Min. Now, the first thing you need to understand is we're not just creating an email address, we're creating a user. Now, there's a difference between just adding an address and adding a user. The user is actually a full-blown email account. If I wanted to just have an email address that uh, points somewhere else, I can just add an email alias. Um, but we're going to actually create a user that can log in, that they can access their email account and stuff like that. So to do that, we actually want to be in the Virtual Min tab. And if this looks different than yours, I'm using the authentic theme and I've just colored each one of my servers differently so I know which server I'm in. So if yours isn't purple, don't worry about it. That's just my server is, is colored purple. Um, okay, so um, basically we want to be in the Virtual Min tab and we want to have chosen the proper domain name that we're going to put it in. I'm going to do it in this test.com one. I'm going to choose Edit Users. And once we're here, you can see that there is already a user set up. Basically, it is uh, the domain name without the .com or .net or whatever on the end of it. And I'm going to click Add New User. And I'm just going to put Stan there. And I can put Stan here as well. And I can put in a password. I'm just going to randomly type some things there. Uh, from here, you can really just hit Create. There's not much more to it. That's basically all you need to do. However, if you want to add a few more features here, here's how you do that. So if you want to have, give this person uh, FTP access as well using uh, using Stan, I believe it's Stan.test is what I think the username will end up being. We'll see here in just a minute. If we want to do email and FTP, we can do that. If I want to set this up as the database user as well, all I need to do is click on that and click boom, and there it is. It's put over to here. And so now this, this person's been granted access to the database. So let's go ahead and create that. We'll go ahead and give them all three uh, things, which is email, FTP, and database access. And I click Create. It's going through. It's doing it all for me. There it is, stand.test. It's going to be the, uh, the email, the IMAP POP3, and FTP login, so stand.test. And then the, the, uh, the database one, I believe it's going to be the same. However, usually that one is truncated a little bit depending on um, on how long the domain name is. It looks like it's going to be the same. Um, and if I hovered over this, and I, well, actually if I click this, it depends on how you have virtual min web min set up. Um, you can actually see the password. And I just randomly just typed on a bunch of characters, and that's what I came up with. Uh, but you can see that's how it would set it up. Now, um, Basically, that's that. Now, if I wanted to go in and add aliases to this, and aliases would be, for example, we've got abuse, hostmaster, postmaster, webmaster. Say I wanted to have support. Um, I want to have support at test.com. And I want that to actually deliver to locally to a mailbox, and I could have it go stand.test. And that's what I would put in there. And then I could click create and there it is so now we have support and it's going to go to the user stand.test and so I, I don't so that's the difference between aliases and users is the alias is just going to go ahead and grab that email as if it is an email but it's just going to forward it to where whatever email address you really want it to go to I could have it go to an external email as well you could see that there was a bunch of other options but that's basically how you set up an email um, account using webmin virtual min now, there are some uh, particular settings, of course, uh, you know, if you're going to put it on your um, email client to, you know, an email application where it uh, goes in and uses it. You want to make sure you test the different settings, but uh, we don't really need to get into that in this video.